it's me again Mrs Robinson and I have another story for you. Today I'm going to read Femi the Fox and a Pot of Jalof. I have to say that Jalof is one of my favourite foods. It was another hot day in the village and Femi the Fox was hungry. He was always hungry. His tummy rumbled as he walked through the market looking for food. Mmm, I would love a hot pot of jollof rice, he said to himself. He walked past the stalls that were selling colourful clothes, pots and jewellery. He saw the children eating bread and fruit, but no one would offer Femi some food. Ah, ah, cried Femi. Why won't anyone give me something to eat? I'm so hungry. Femi went to look for his friend Shola, the squirrel. Hello, Femi. How are you? she asked. Shola, I am so hungry and no one in the market will offer me anything anything to eat he replied that's because you are always causing trouble says Shola suddenly Femi had an idea Shola I know what we can do he cried let's go and see Olu the owl he is wise he will tell us where to find food Shola shook her head Olu doesn't like to be disturbed in the daytime why don't you just wait I can't wait. Let's go, said Femi, as he ran off into the village. Olu the owl was fast asleep in his tree when Femi knocked on the door. I am not sure about this, whispered Shola, but Femi knocked on the door even louder. Olu finally opened the door. Femi, what do you want? He shouted. I am so hungry and no one in the market will feed me. Please help me find food, begged Femi. No, I do not help troublemakers, said Olu. Please, I promise I will be good if you help Shola and I find some food, cried Femi. Olu told them that the big Oba was having a party in his palace that afternoon where there will be lots of food. Femi, if you are patient, the young prince will bring food to the market. You should just wait, said Olu. I can't wait, let's go, said Femi. Before Olu could finish, Femi was running towards the palace. Femi and Shola arrived at the palace. They could smell the delicious food coming from the kitchen. Everyone in the village knew that the big Oba loved food and so did his son, Prince Keode. Femi and Shola had to be very careful creeping around the palace, otherwise they would end up in big trouble. So they slowly crept past the aunties and headed towards the kitchen. Femi and Shola could not believe their luck. They saw sweet yams, stews, plantains and a big pot of jollof rice. Femi's mouth was watering. Jollof rice was his favourite. This isn't a good idea. What happens if we get caught? Shola whispered. Don't worry, no one will see us, said Femi.
Femi slowly picked up the pot of jollof rice and crept away from the kitchen. But as soon as he turned the corner, there stood Prince Coyote and Chidi the cat. They had been caught red-handed stealing jollof rice. Femi dropped the pot of jollof rice all over the floor in shock. Shola hid behind him and Prince Coyote began to laugh. Why are you laughing? asked Femi. Are you going to tell your father? No, I won't tell my father, said the prince. He could not stop laughing. Femi, why are you always getting yourself into trouble? Shala was very angry with Femi. He was always getting her into trouble. But Prince Coyote had an idea. Femi, why don't you learn how to make jollof rice? I can give you an easy recipe to try. Then you will never be hungry. It takes a bit of patience and practice. But I'm sure Shala can help you, said the prince. Prince Kayadi said, my father always tells me, good things come to those who wait. I hope you learn a lesson from this, Femi. And with that, he gave Femi the jollof rice recipe and went back to the palace with Chidi, the cat. Femi sighed and began to walk back to the market. He was still hungry. hope you like that story um, year five at the back of the book it does have a recipe for jollof rice so if you did want to try it yourselves there's the recipe at the back if you get a hold of the book okay I hope you've enjoyed the story and I'll see you again with some more this week take care bye